Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. And if you didn't notice anything, I should look better. And not because I actually put an effort into my outfit this morning. It's because I bought a camera and it came in yesterday and I tested it and I love it and I hope it looks as good when I actually upload this video. So thank you for watching and I hope you continue watching because this looks cool. Also, I have a plan. That tells you I like stuff like plants. <laughs> anyway, this morning I want to tell you about things from my childhood. Mainly mean things people used to call me when I was a kid. And full disclosure, none of this bothers me anymore. And honestly, when I think back on it, it kind of makes me laugh because some of this stuff was gold, like comedy gold. I wouldn't say that I tell a kid this or any of these things, but I definitely laugh about it now as an adult. Um, so I just want to tell you the backstory between, you know, a few of those things that kept me up at night as a child, but now make my ribs ache from laughing. So let's go ahead and get started. Burnt gums. <laughs> okay, so in fifth grade, well, let's, let's backtrack a little bit. Um, I have dark gums and it's just because I am a melanated person. And a lot of people who are dark have um, racial pigmentation throughout their body. So I even have freckles on my tongue that are dark. I even have dark spots on my eyes. And I went to the doctor and I was like, y'all, is this cancer? And they're like, no, you're black, that, that's it. So when I was younger, I got made fun of by this one kid in fifth grade whose life was, now as an adult, I realized was not the best, but um, tormented me terribly. And one day in line, because for some reason in grade school, you're standing in lines for no reason. Um, in line, he called me burnt gums because whenever I smiled, you could see my dark gums. And now I don't give a fuck, but back then I did. Um, and so I turned to him and I said, um, at least I'm not a fifth grade failure. And I said this because it was the second time being in fifth grade. But the teachers caught me when I said that, but didn't hear him call me burnt gums. So I, I don't know. I guess I'm still a little burnt about it. Big ass milk dud. <laughs> and so I am not against being called chocolatey items because I do have beautiful melanated skin. But this dude was very malicious when we were kids and he would refer to me as a big ass milk dud. Now here's the thing, you're a kid. Where are you getting these like blows to my existence? You call me a big ass milk dud. A big ass milk dud. And it's funny because I had one of my friends from um, middle school, her mom used to call me her chocolate drop. And I was like, that's fine, but this dude's like, you big ass milk dud. And I don't know why as a kid that broke my heart, but now I'm just like, I, you right, we naming facts here. Broken glasses, and that's so unoriginal, but it was the truth for a lot of my childhood because I would break my glasses almost on a yearly basis. The one time where it was detrimental to my status as a cool kid, just kidding, I was never a cool kid. Um, I broke my glasses by playing with my sister's basketball. I was laying in bed, and I was throwing it in the air, and then, because I, I don't do the basketball. It drops, it hits me square in the face, breaks my glasses in half. Instead of giving me new glasses, my parents instead made me put some fat scotch tape right there. Yeah, mom, dad, talk of the town. People made fun of me for days. Yeah, big butt before it was cool. Um, I had a big butt and People would roast me to oblivion about it. And it broke my heart. But now, that's where it's at. Desiree's mean sister. So me and my sister Desiree, when we were in school together, we had very different personalities. We still have very different personalities, but we were very distinctly different. So people would be like, you know, that's just Desiree's mean ass sister. That's Desiree's dark ass sister. Because my sister is lighter toned than me, but as time has gone by, she's darkened up a little bit, but she's not big ass milk dud dark. Um, so they would just refer to me as that. 
um, because I guess I was mean. Me, me. Patty, so this is kind of sad. Um, I started my period really early. Um, I think it was like fourth or fifth grade. And I was the only girl in school whose period had started. So um, the administrators were all super nice because they were all women and they were very kind through the whole process. Um, my teacher was a woman, um, the secretary of the school was a woman, the principal was a woman, they were all very nice about it. But somebody found a pad that they had lent to me like the day that it was like a real thing. And they referred to me as Patty from, from then on. And it's P-A-D-D-Y because you know, it was a pad. Because kids are cruel. Snaggle too. Um, when I was younger, I could not, this is not gonna become a therapy session, but when I was younger, I could not control my anger. So I would instead, and then when it came to a boiling point, that this is over a course of weeks or months, I would pull out a tooth. I know, what the hell. Um, to a point where entire front row was gone. So you see this gorgeous smile right here? This wasn't always a thing. Um, so yes, that was interesting. Bucky, funny that we're talking about teeth because at one point, when my teeth were growing back in, my front two teeth, which are my adult teeth now, were big, they were kind of wonky, they had not quite settled in my mouth right, and it looked gross and people called me Bucky. Cannonball. Now, this is because in the summer as a child, I loved to go swimming. I stayed swimming anywhere. And my mom even like, she, she just jokes around, she's like, you know, you literally lived in a pool all summer. Kids, on the other hand, called me Cannonball. Here's why. I was chubby. I was dark. I liked to swim. I liked to jump in the pool, and they called me Cannonball. And so part of it was malicious because people would be like, Cannonball, blah, blah, blah. And then my friends would call me Cannonball just because like I was the only one that was um, brave enough to go jump into the pool immediately as we got there, because you know, everyone's supposed to did you tell? And I was just like, fuck it, let's go. And they would call me Cannonball. But the mean kids kind of reversed that on me and called me Cannonball. Finally, crybaby. I was a big crybaby. I'm still a big crybaby, but I was a major crybaby when I was a kid. And people took advantage of that. They made fun of me. Just kidding. I say that a lot for someone who's not been in a fight since grade school. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I hope that the camera quality is helping with this whole process. I did invest into a pretty okay camera so far. Um, I have a room specific for my YouTube videos now. So, yay! Um, my schedule is going to be Thursdays. Um, so Thursdays between the hours of 12 and 4. I should have a video up for you. Um, I'm trying to keep up with it, so like, share, and subscribe, ring that little bell if you want to be notified when I do post videos because I don't know how your schedule is, I don't know if you actively go to YouTube to see my videos, but it'll email you and let you know that I actually posted a video. So thank you for watching this, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope that nobody says anything mean to you, or I hope you don't say anything mean to anyone, or else you're going to grow up and become a YouTuber and tell people what you said. And if I had the names of people who used to call me this, I would tell you. Because that stuff is me. <laughs> anyway, 